Hello everyone. Welcome back. I always wonder if we can watch videos and run our own photos on this Havel H6 screen. There are some adapters available in the market which can allow this function, but I didn't want to spend extra money for it. You would be happy to know that Havel H6 allow this functionality using a USB pen drive. To achieve this, you just need a USB pen drive and need to copy your favorite videos, music and pictures in it and then you're all set to go. However, there are few limitations which I would cover in this video as well. To begin with, first you need to copy all your content in your USB pen drive. You can do this from your laptop or OTG adapters which are available in the market. Once your data is ready, you need to connect the USB pen drive to the passenger side USB port. Don't connect on the driver side or any other USB ports. It won't work as they're only for charging purpose. After connecting the pen drive, you would be able to explore files like images, music and videos on Havel H6 infotainment screen. To view images, simply navigate to the picture section. The system will automatically detect images from your USB pen drive. You can then touch here and then these images can run as a screensaver. And for some reasons like changing AC settings, if you need it to use the screen, the images will reappear when the screen is idle for a few seconds. However, when changing music or performing similar actions, the images may disappear and won't return on their own. I did wait for 25 seconds, but photos didn't play by itself. You'll need to manually play them again. But I think it's still a good thing if you want to have your family photos or other pics running on this screen. Unfortunately, you cannot copy these files to Havel's storage. There isn't any option to do that. At least I'm not aware of it. I tried to look for an option like holding the file or looking for other options, but I couldn't see anything which allows you to copy these files to the Havel's storage. It doesn't allow you to copy or do anything with these files. You can just see these files. That's it. And same goes for the music. If I go back uh, here, go to multimedia. Here you can see USB music. So if you, you can just drop down here and you can see USB video and USB music. So for example, if I am at USB music, and then here I can just see what music is available in my folder. Artist album. So if you have any specific artists, you know, that you could see here all songs. So it will give you all songs. And if you can also put favorites in that. Same goes for the videos. If you touch here, go to USB video. Now here also. Hello everyone, welcome back. So you can watch the video audio comes from the car stereo so that's okay you can do the full screen from here and then you can go to next so this is one of the sample video i took it from the internet Oops. so you can't use these videos as your screensaver you can copy any movies or anything uh, on usb drive and you might watch it while you are waiting for someone I'm trying to show if you touch here it takes you to the whole folder and you can see all the files one thing I noticed, if the video file is large, then sometimes there was a delay in the video. The audio was coming okay, but the video was laggy and was still loading. There are a few more issues I noticed. For some reasons, all my video files in USB pen drive wasn't visible here. I copied total 8 video files, including 5 MP4 format, 1 MKV format and 2 in MOV format. However, I could only see total 6 files in this screen, so 2 mp4 files were missing. I couldn't figure out why it happened, but the good thing is you can play .mkv and .mov files as well. Another thing is still a mystery for me. I couldn't figure out how to copy photos, videos, music to have also storage. I tried connecting my computer, also connected to USB and also used Android Auto, 
but there wasn't any option to copy files to Havel's storage. If you know, then please let me know. In my opinion, it's still a good option if you are desperate to watch videos on the screen. However, you need to be prepared to do this, like having a USB pen drive, copying all videos to it, and then you would be able to watch it. Personally, I think we should have an option to watch directly from the mobile phone. Hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching.